If you aim to conquer mountains, a couple of ice axes will come in handy. Ice axes were invented in the mid-19th century to help mountaineers get a grip on slippery slopes and pull themselves to the summit. They also use ice axes to stop a fall. They're really designed for peak performance. Talk about a steep learning curve. Climbing with ice axes takes a bit of practice, not to mention courage. To make an ice axe, they start with an aluminum rod. A powerful press bends it into a curve, giving it the basic contour of an ice axe. They flatten and shape the rod in two fiery dies. Each die has a top and bottom half, which they lubricate between forgings. The hot forging transforms the metal rod. And it starts to look a lot more like the shaft of an ice axe. The long ridges add strength to the metal, while other indentations mark where the attachments are to go. The forging creates a bit of a lip around the perimeter of the shaft. They call the success metal flash. It's easily sliced off by this press. This gives the ice axe shaft a cleaner edge and also makes it quite a bit lighter than the original rod, an advantage when you're toting it up a mountain. That aluminum rod has gone through quite a few stages, but now it has a whole new profile. This tub of vibrating ceramic cones will smooth the rough edges of the shaft. Here, a computerized drill makes holes in the recesses stamped into the shaft earlier. These holes will be used to attach other parts. The machine changes the drill bit to a circular blade. Then, guided by the computer, it cuts a slot for the ice axe pick. The saw moves to the other end and thins out the area where the handle is to be attached. Using another drill bit, it carves out a hole for the adjustable finger rest. Here we see a shaft that's been milled and drilled, compared with one yet to undergo the process. Next, the shaft gets a protective coating. Then it's time to bring all the pieces of the ice axe together. A worker applies epoxy to the inside of the rubber handle and slides it onto the shaft. The handle has an open end. He beads a little more epoxy onto it and then inserts a steel spike. He rivets the spike to the ice axe shaft. Once it's solidly anchored to the shaft, this spike will come in handy on that uphill trek. Plunging it into a snowy slope will help the climber maintain balance. Next, he slides a part called the adds into the slot in the head of the shaft. Climbers use the adds to chop steps in hard snow and ice. He secures the adds with nuts and bolts. And then he installs the pick. This hooked and jagged attachment will help get the climber up a mountain of hard ice. He tightens the bolts with a torque wrench. After all, a solid job here could be a lifesaver. Finally, he screws the adjustable finger rest to the shaft just above the handle. And now you have a tool that can help you scale new heights.
If you have any comments about the show, or if you'd like to suggest topics for future shows, drop us a line at www.howitismade.net.